what's up it's another day i hope you're earning another dollar because i'm trying anyways so actually you know what's funny i'm, I'm kind of irritated right now not anymore now that i've turned on the camera and i find that vlogging helps me relieve some of that stress you know um you can't even tell can you if i didn't say anything you wouldn't know so don't mind the mess in the kitchen because you know it's always a mess when i be trying to get ready and cook and ding and ding so what i want to show you oh i want to show you that i did another experiment of course and okay i was making oatmeal for breakfast right posture right <laughs> i was making oatmeal for breakfast and i find that i don't like okay look <clears throat> this oatmeal this is spelled oatmeal and it i didn't put enough coconut milk and i don't even want it <laughs> like I, I just find i don't like things without coconut milk when it's like too pure i don't like it it needs some a little bit of oomph, you know? So then I made here, because I'm about to go on the road too. I made some quinoa. Can you see? I'm not even going to pack away this, these dishes and pretend like, you know, this is something spotless. It's not, okay? Reality TV, damn it. Um, so I made some quinoa with some... This looks kind of nasty, I think. But this looks nice to you. This, I don't know what to call it. I had an orange. I sliced up the orange and I added the juice in there with some ginger um, and some seasoning. So I guess it's a, it's supposed to be an orange, uh, a ginger orange type thing going on. But I was using ginger powder and not fresh ginger. I should have bought fresh ginger like my, my mind was telling me and I, you can't even taste the ginger. I put so much and you still can't taste it. So next time I'm going to try it again with fresh ginger. It's mushroom and okra. I'm going to have it over the quinoa with like maybe a slice of tomato two slices three slices just to make a little bit fun side and then right now i'll admit earlier i had to go on the road so i did dibble at tim hortons and eat um two hash browns and a everything bagel yeah that's it and i'm about to cut this pineapple so i can eat as i head back on the road again and then I have my water in the freezer. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to drink ice cold water, but I just want it. I don't like it ice cold. I like it a little bit cold. So a little bit cold in summertime. In the wintertime, I can do the lukewarm thing. But when it's summertime, give me a little bit cold, okay? Just a little bit. So that's what I'm doing for right now, eating right now. I got to make some more coconut milk. As you can see, I got my coconut here. Coconut here. Coconut here. Shake it. Shake it. <clears throat> Anyways. So I'm going to cut my pineapple and I'll holler at y'all in a bit. Later days. What's going on? So I actually want to do this before I start driving. I know you can't see me because, I don't know, the sunlight is always like beaming on me in a bad angle. And I always just seem to have bad angles for sunlight. But anyway, so you ever just get that random craving for a serious sweet? I started craving red vegan, red vegan cupcakes and red vegan. What am I saying? red velvet cupcakes and i was like dang but there's no vegan ones around here so i literally like, my brain just went through this phase of or this point of like um wanting and like i just had to research so i went on my phone started researching like vegan cupcakes <laughs> and where i could get them and i'm feeling, seeing like pc and and places like down to i don't even know but i wanted a sweet right then right now and if before i was about to just go and buy a regular red velvet cupcake but i know i would have mucus flare-ups and all this foolishness from the gluten and stuff that's inside of it so i'm like okay screw it so i just went right to the local um i was in the mall so i went right to um this health thing i can't remember what it's called some healthy place and they had these these they didn't have any they didn't have any um red velvet cupcakes but they had these this gluten-free brownie it's good Gluten free sands, fudge brownie, ah, ooh, chocolate. It's by, yeah, I already said that, San, I think. Certified gluten free. And it tastes pretty good. Man, I really just wish, like, there was, like, vegan spots almost everywhere. You'd have to really search for these vegan places, and that's a bit annoying. And from, from where I live, everything is, like, downtown. And. Oh, I don't know, but like it's only when I want a sweet. When I don't want a sweet, I don't care because I, I cook my food and stuff and I bring it on the road. But for the most part, but even if I don't cook, I wish there was places that I can just eat 
at that are closer instead of all this fast food stuff. And then when you get to the point where you're just tired of eating fast food food, everything on the road doesn't even seem like food. It seems like just junk. Even the food is junk food. Oh. Sorry. Me and my son just eating off the brownie. This is a lot of sweets for you, boy. You better not be bouncing off the wall. I don't give her sweets like that. I don't like no bouncing off the wall, child. <laughs> no more? Oh. My baby has a limit. What? Drink your water. Drink your water. Good boy. I guess you had too much sweet. You didn't even want to just dash it away. <laughs> That's good. But anyways, I'm on the road running all these errands because I'm really trying to like get stuff done on and popping. What I've started to do is actually organize myself in a way of where I'm. I wrote a list of like everything I need to do, and I bring this around with me. I'm not joking, and I like it because I've been getting a lot done. I actually split it halfway. Well, I put like a quarter. As you can see, like I put a quarter. I, I drew a quarter of the um down the page so that I can write completed instead of just crossing out. When I when I cross out stuff, I don't like the way it looks. My page just looks all scratchy, scratchy, and messy, messy. I don't like that. So I add to my list as things come up in my mind, and then I take off my list as I complete them, and I write completed at the side. And I just I'm feeling accomplished. This way, I'm actually yeah. Don't do that, please. Why would you want to wet yourself? But yeah, this way I'm actually focused and on my grind because I tend to remember everything I need to do and then by the time I get free time to do what I need to do, I forget everything. Huh? Drives me nuts. So this is another part of my journey, getting more organized and doing what I have to do. So as for right now, I'm about to hit the road and complete the other tasks that I have to do. Take off these Dracula nails because they're driving me nuts. And how about y'all? So I'm here chowing down on some sweets again. It's that time of the month, man. It's that time of the month. <laughs> Let me fix you. Let me fix you. So this is gluten-free. Um, what? Spice? Pumpkin spice? Or no, just all spice um, cake, they said. <sighs> I was going to stop at Booster Juice and get a, pini a veggie panini sandwich with... Um, <clears throat> ooh. You know it's good when you almost choke on your saliva because it's producing so much. <laughs> I was gonna stop and get a veggie panini san panini sandwich with um a green juice, a green smoothie. Their oh panini, veggie panini sam sandwich actually tastes really good, and just like a pure gr green juice. Oh, mm. I still want it. So I'm craving. This girl can eat, and right there in that in that bin behind me, this. It's pineapple. 
a bunch of pineapple. But my car was so hot, and I had um an appointment I was at. My car was so freaking hot that it's like hot, and I don't like hot pineapple. I like cool or cold pineapple. I can do room temperature, but not hot. Now yeah, that's hot. Mm -hmm. So, I have one more thing to do on my list. Let me see. I have one more thing that I have to do, which is road worthy. The other stuff I've completed. I mean, there's one more thing I can complete, but that's online. So, I'm going to have to do the other thing. The last thing is take off these damn Dracula nails. So, Daddy! I'm about to make a stop home, use Daddy! the facilities, and then to take off these nails. Yeah, we'll make a stop home, change, change his bum, and then we'll go back Daddy! on the road. Take off Daddy! Oh. He wants some. Ooh. <coughs> All right. So, anyways, this is boring. So, I holler at y'all. I holler at y'all. You know you want me because I have some. You know you want me. I know you want some. <laughs> you know you what? want some because I have some. You know you want some. Do you want some? Mm. Hey. So you know what I just realized? That today... Um, okay, so since today I didn't eat a lot of um, fruits. Usually I start my morning off with like a smoothie. And then I'll follow that up with having some fruits. And then I also have... Um, well, that's really good enough. Usually that's good enough for me. It's kind of heavy enough until like my snack time, which is on break. Or like my lunch time and then I'll have something heavy and then have another meal but since I didn't eat the way I usually eat I find myself craving a lot of sweets today which probably meant probably meant I was under carbed I probably was under carb because what I ate today wasn't the greatest like I had the bagel and the hash browns and um that's really it I wanted the pineapples first I wanted the pineapples first and I was gonna have some strawberries but since I was going I just kind of grabbed what I had and then pick up something on the road and ended up being undercarbed because usually I'm not hungry like I'm actually so stuffed most times and I keep stuffing myself but just because I won't say no to food I just keep stuffing myself um don't mind me I can talk and do this I like to do this so yeah I guess what I'm trying to say is make sure you're carved up because when you're not carved up you're gonna you know eat other things on the road and it's not bad I think you gotta make do where you're at and what with what you have and you make it you know accommodate your circumstances but if you want to be strict and okay i know i no longer know what else to say i, I just want to go get my nails off because these are annoying so i guess i'll see you there huh ah, i just went to the nail salon and they're closing as i was walking in the guy's like, like picking his face and I'm standing there for a good five minutes, ten minutes then, and he's still picking his face and he didn't even see me. <sighs> it's good, it's great to know that I'm I'm just, you know, invisible. No, I'm just kidding. I'm only kidding about the invisible part, but he literally was standing there for like five minutes picking his face. He didn't even notice I came in. I was like, geez. But I have to spend another freaking night with these Jack and nails. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I can't stand them. They take too long. It takes too long to do everything. Putting my earring takes five hours. Putting um, picking up change takes ten hours. P trying to like, uh, just little things. It irritates me. I, I probably just cut these myself tonight because I can't do no. I can't do these nails any longer. I might clip, clip, and then clip, 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 clip some more. I'm gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna do that. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vloggage. Cause that's all I'm really gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna show my dinner. Usually by the time I'm able to show my dinner, it's like too dark, so you can't really see anything. But actually, you can. I think I just look orange, or do I look? I think I look better in this. I, I look even toned on this camera. But um, 
if not i'm gonna just end this vlog i hope you enjoyed the day with me until next time i'll see you in the next vlog later day